This is Charlie the Biochar Machine. Charlie is the newest addition to the Midnight's Farm Composting Facility, a small farmer-run project servicing the remote island community of Lopez. For almost a decade, they've been helping Lopezians deal with wooden yard waste, converting it into mulch and compost for local farmers to use. But as the composting facility has grown, David, Faith, and all the other folks on the farm have started experimenting with a new project to improve their compost and combat climate change. That is, creating small-scale biochar. What, what is biochar? Biochar is essentially charcoal. It's an organic material that has been burned without oxygen. We got into biochar because it's a way to store carbon for a very long time from woody material, which would other was respire. I think it's pretty, I think it's a really decent way to sequester carbon compared to direct air capture, where you're trying to pull tons of air and pull small amounts of CO2 out using a solution. Well, this just, you're taking advantage of a natural process the trees use, store carbon, and then you're capturing that in the form of biochar. And it also uh, helps improve soil quality. It can store nutrients in the soil better, and it is super porous and microbes can live in it, so you, you increase the microbial activity in your soils. While these benefits are applicable to the farms around the world, biochar is especially useful for farmers on Lopez due to the island's unique challenges. It's a big, it's hard to get nutrients to the island and, and agricultural inputs because of the ferries. So if we can do it here, then we can save the whole ferry transportation to get here from a facility off island. With a goal in mind, the folks at Midnight's Farm worked on incorporating biochar into their composting facility, but it took them a while to figure out something that worked. We've made char, biochar, like within kilns, another way people can do it, you can make it in these, these open containers. And you, we once dug a hole and we did it that way and started a fire when we did that, it, it like went underground. And we would make like a lot of smoke when we did it in these kilns and it was a lot of work. And it, then it made a chunky product that wasn't that amenable to anything else. After more research and experimentation, the team at Midnight's Farm were able to find something that they could modify to create their ideal biochar machine. Something that could burn clean, continuously and efficiently, while still keeping within the scope of a small farm. After much tinkering, Charlie the Biochar Machine was created. So, how does Charlie work? First, wood chips are placed into the intake hopper, where an auger pulls them up into the furnace. From there, they are dropped into a second, larger auger, which slowly pushes the chips through the machine as they cook in a low oxygen environment, converting them into biochar. We've since messed around. We've done a lot of alterations to what we initially bought. David picked on this, uh, took up this project of getting a biochar machine, and I've been tasked with making modifications to help improve the flow rate and the efficiency of the unit. So I, David and I redesigned the auger itself, uh, made it longer, extended the whole auger, and added uh, this section to the machine, added the insulation and redesigned the drive unit uh, along with a couple other things. So I did all the, the welding, the stainless welding, which is fun to learn how to weld with stainless. We've improved the flow rate by 10 times the volume. So we were getting one gallon per hour before, now we're getting 10 gallons, which is a, a huge improvement in my, in my mind. We're super excited to, to be where we are, where we're making char with this. But the long-term goals, I mean, it's, it's to help move this kind of technology along with it. Currently, it's, that's a real missing size, and I, and I see that as like this unique and um, really beneficial size. You know, co-locate them with compost facilities where they've already got this equipment and they can use it, so you're not like making it and in, then in, in trucking it, trucking the material to the char machine and trucking the finished char miles and miles. While much progress has been made on Charlie the Biochar Machine, there still is much more to be done. The current short-term goals are to partially automate the system, allowing for a continuous burn throughout the day, and also to create a system to funnel the heat generated from the machine into a winter greenhouse. If you are interested in learning more, or are interested in helping David, Faith, Lachlan, and all the other folks at Midnight's Farm, check out their website down below.